And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Blocks the shot. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. It's the elbow there. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Right hand, then a left. There's the kick. It's blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the team. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. What a punt. Oh, man, hit to land. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Circling towards the left now. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Beautiful on. kick. Under three minutes now to go in round one. That was a thudding leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Great punch. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Blocks the strike. Continues to mix it up, going over the head, mixing in some body shots. A oh, little single collar tie there. Left hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Wow. Nice loop and punch. Kick to the body by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots of the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal. Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. Big head kick land. A beautiful combination of kicks. There's no give on that leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice punch, man. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Good kicks there by Lord. Oh, Superman punch. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Right hand on point. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Good stick. Such a fast leg kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Right, then a left. Head kick, that's a miss. Oh, beautiful, straight left hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, big punch land. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot.
Ray's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of this back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, close guard now. Got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Right the side control, yep. Seconds left. Well, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Ten, Ten minutes left. in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, the action continues here and now as our next Ready? round gets Ready? underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, big head kick land. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. That's a big strike right there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Real sneaky body kick. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand to get very active. What a punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Back and forth we go. Straight punch lands. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big body kick lands. Oh, Superman punch is good. Just missed with the straight left hand. Three minutes to go. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big punch land. Ooh. Just missed with the left there. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lou. Oh, yeah, right hand. Beautiful leg kick throw. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. This they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. 
And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight. Out. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him for a very bad head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Right hand upstairs. Well, missed on that one. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's. Oh! Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, he goes with the punch, and he lands. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Against side mount, and now maybe the Von Fruit choke will be there. Open St. Fruit has got to like that transition there. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the right. roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps where the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Punches from all right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Big leg kick land. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Sound defensively blocks the shot. situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Nice straight punch. He had a hurt. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. and a great performance by this young man. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by nine.